Didn't see you there. It's me, your good old dad, David, here with some tips about riding the train. The first tip is always know where you're going and make sure that you don't get on a creepy train with a creepy kid. Like this fella who just got on a train that he thought wasn't to take him home, but apparently it was the wrong train and this train has no stop whatsoever except death. Ooh. So buckle your seatbelts for last train home. What this is this about, I guess, um, this is literally the last train home, so, yeah. Uh, there was no main menu or anything, this is literally just the game. Like, actually, you, you even use the arrows, you don't use the WSD. Hmm. Anywho, so let's see. Okay, sleep person. Damn, the slider doesn't work. It might be because you're outside of the train. Hello, child. There. One, two, buckle my shoes. Three, four, lock the door. Five, six, get your fix. Seven, eight, don't be late. Nine, ten, you're not my friend. I mean, the dealer guy says something good. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Ugh. 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 Oh, I guess that's all you say. I'm guessing you don't like the motion of the ocean? No, this is not it either. You there, young man. Have you seen the latest papers? I've been looking for it everywhere. If you happen to find it, please bring it to me. Did that homeless man, was he covered by paper? I mean, by newspaper? Also, where are they that it's so dark? Oh, hey there, brother. I didn't see you there. Is there something you need? Oh, you want one of my newspapers? Well, for sure, brother. I can only give you one, though, or I'll get cold. Which one do you want? Uh... Here you go. Sleep tight, brother. I mean, I could have probably traded with the other guy, too. Ah, the papers you're holding. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Thanks a bunch, young man. Here, take this. I have no use for it anymore. Is there more? If I keep walking? This isn't the way to go. This is technically supposed to be a horror game, but I don't really see any horror yet. Hey kid, that ladder you're holding, could you let me borrow it? Ah, that hits the spot. You know kid, this was going to be my last cigarette. I was going to retire from the force too. After this latest train ride, I'll go home and see my family. Here, look, a picture of my dog. Ain't she cute? Anyway kid, smoking is bad for you. Here's a bit of intel for you. The lass who's sick between those two cars. She dropped something of hers earlier. I saw a child took it. What could a child want with something like that? Anyways, kid, take it easy. 
Hey, child. Hi, mister. You want what the lady dropped? Sure, mister, but you have to answer a question first. Ready? Here goes. Which way do you think the train is going? Mm. West? So that's what you think. Haha, <laughs> wrong. That was a trick question. We're not going east or west. Huh? What exactly is it that we're going? You're funny, mister. Shouldn't you know where you want to go before getting on a train? Since you answered my question here. I got the pill bottle. You better give it to her soon, mister. She's getting pretty sick. Ugh. Ah, you found my medicine. Ah, uh, that's better. Sir, you're a lifesaver. I can't believe... Wait. This is all wrong. You shouldn't be here. Listen, you have to leave. Quick, follow me. Uh, where are you? It won't open. Oh, somebody's coming. It's a little girl. Or is it a little girl? That's a spider. Oh no. Quick, get in here. That was close. You almost became her food. Or worse. Listen, thanks for helping me. But you need to get out of here. This train can't take you home. All you need to do is spin around seven times. You heard me? Seven times. Don't forget. Looks like this is my stop. May we meet again. Remember, seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Oh, I guess I was one short. So it was all a dream. Am I dead? No, I can't go. If I die. The end. Okay. So that was the last train home. Uh, I take it that you were either dead or you were dreaming and this thing was going to kill you in your sleep. Maybe all the people that were on board the train, like the homeless man, the smoking man, who apparently was maybe a police officer. And the lady were all either past victims or they were all 
already dead. Because the, the guy that was smoking made it seem like like that whole little sort of... um, Not cliche, but that little thing where it's like, oh, I was just about to retire and I died. You know? Anywho, so yeah. um, On to the next game. Wasn't that spooky? Ooh. Remember, people, never trust children. Children are evil. They're probably spider monsters. Anyways, so for our next little video, we're about to show you that if you are a child and you are not evil, what you should and should not do when you're traveling alone because your parents are too cheap or they just don't care about you and they're gonna, you know, make you take the train instead of the airplane with them. I mean, who can blame them? You're a kid. Nobody wants to travel with a kid. So, they... Yeah. Anyways, so here it is. Welcome to Creepy Waves FM. This is a... game... that's kind of like, um... the Fears to Fathom games, where it's, I'm assuming, supposed to be sort of episodic, kind of. Or the, at least that's the intent, because supposedly they are um, inspired by those games. So yeah. Anywho, so apparently this is about a kid that goes on a train ride and stuff is going to happen. So yeah, without further ado, let us begin. <laughs> Creepy Waves FM. Train to part. June 25th. This story, it's not something that I tell often. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I ever would. It was during one of those hot, stifling summers. The kind where the air feels heavy and time seems to slow down. I was 16 and for the first time I was traveling alone. My parents had gone ahead to our family gathering by plane. Me, I was taking the train to meet them. You know, there's something about being alone on a journey that makes you feel more grown up than you are. I had my backpack, my phone, and my laptop. Felt like an adventure waiting to happen. Or, you know, a kidnapping. When the train started moving, I felt a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. But I had no idea what was really ahead. I thought that it was just going to be a straightforward ride. But it wasn't. Good day, your connection, TJ, will be delayed by approximately 15 minutes. The length of the delay may change. We apologize for the inconvenience, your train jet. Good day, your seat number is 36. Please take your designated seat upon traveling or boarding the train. Thank you for choosing train jets. Okay. Standard parent stuff. Roger, the toilet was locked from the inside, which means I guess that there's somebody inside. Um, how do you know which seat is yours? Ma'am. Lady. Sometimes I think my daughter gets whatever she wants from her father. It's a bit much. I always check our luggage twice. You can't be too careful these days, especially with the stories you hear. Daddy promised to buy me a puppy when we got back home. I have the best father in the world. Seventy-six, seventy-five. Um, may I please get past to my seat? Oh, absolutely, your highness. I mean, you could have just put your stuff away first. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just stand out of the way until you're done. Okay, thank you. Hello, people. 
We're going to see Grandma and Grandpa. I can't wait to show them my new car. You mean your toy car, right? I love train rides. Mom says that we'll be there soon. We're visiting family and kids. We're excited about the trip all summer. We're planning a little treasure hunt when we reach the city. Kids love exploring new places. It's your fault for not putting your stuff up there first. My phone's available, but my battery's dead. Guess this is my seat. I guess I should sit down and let you pass back again. I mean... Have you left already? How's your seat? Everything okay? Yeah, we're on our way now. Found my seat alright, but you know, some people here could definitely be nicer. I'll text more once we're further along. Just setting up my laptop for the journey. Kinda wish this would stay. Stay. The laptop must be in the backpack. Why don't you get it before you sat down? Ooh, snacks. Towels. Books for some reason. Oh, Java Basic coding books. Is the green one Python? Are you writing a visual novel? Uh, throw. Um, throw. Throw. Oh, throw. You're gonna make me break it. Um, oh. The table was small, but the laptop was somehow fitting it. What games do you have on your laptop? Um, oh, here we go. Actually, I hear this story. Yeah, check the link. Man, you will mind arm wrestlers too. Sorry, man. Train Wi-Fi. Just need to log in. Want to play the clicker before we arrive? That's one of those, like the cookie clicker game. Spooky lady. Sorry, what can I get you? Mm. Burger with fries? I'm afraid we don't have any soda. I can get you some water with a meal. Sure. I will bring your order in a little bit later. The train was quite modern, and it was strange that they had only water today, but who knows such things happens with the trains. Whatever. I was thinking about going to the toilet before my meal was ready. Ah, you can hold it. There was a strange bag in the toilet. It was strange that someone left a bag full of a uniform in the toilet. Am I gonna pee on it? Yeah, let's pee on it. My food could be back in any time, so I've returned to my seat without a second thought. You're gonna wash your hands? W wash your hands. 
Wash your hands, you gross child. Wash your hands. Stupid child. Dying. <laughs> Twelve twenty one. PM. Ooh, food. Looks like from Wendy's. Those little square patties. Uh, sorry. Um. That's not what I ordered. Looks great. It's okay. And those trains, they make better quality food. Is it tasty? Yeah, shame. They had no soda. Good. Frowny face. You didn't wash your hands, so, you know, whatever. You ate the ha the bottom half of the burger. I'm sorry. You're the gentleman that wanted the soda. We have found a pack in our storage. Please enjoy. Fortunately, they had a few more. That's the service. That's not suspicious at all. I was so thirsty that I drank all the soda in a single gulp. It was warm and had this strange taste. Not suspicious at all. But I was happy and hoped that it wasn't lying there for years. Hopefully it wasn't roofied. Young child all alone on a train ride going nowhere. Definitely not weird. Um, get up. After the meal, I wanted to spend some time on the walk or just play the laptop. My sister and I have a game where we count clouds outside. That is so boring. I hope Grandma made her famous cookies. She didn't. You're actually going there for her funeral. I have a few good friends. We like the same games. I always tell my boy, you've got to be strong in this world. But he is more the gentle type. Mom says that there are people who transfer illegal stuff in those trains. It's like something from a movie, right? Kind of cool. Never get the feeling that something's, or well, that someone's not what they seem. I tell my son, keep an eye out, spot the odd ones. It's a strange world. My husband enjoys his call, but I prefer the energy of a lively debate club. Sir? Traveling has its own charm, doesn't it? Reminds me of my younger days. Let's continue this kitty game. Oh no, I'm getting tired. Oh. Suddenly, I felt a strong drowsiness. To be honest, I always had one after a good meal, but that was more persistent. It was as if I could not resist it at all. Oh no, you were roofied. What's that strange person doing? Sixteen o eight PM mm. 
I was asleep for long. This man is in my in my dream. We must have already reached the border station. I need to take a little walk and get some fresh air in the lobby. I had to reschedule three meetings because of this delay. Mom's always careful, but I think deep down, she likes the adventures too. We're out to buy him some new school supplies. He grows up so fast. It's a full-time job, being a mom and a dad. Grumpy. What now? You don't see that I'm busy here. Hmm. Little girl's missing. And her parents. My friend is quite the storyteller. Between you and me, I think half of her tales are embellished. But they do make the journey more entertaining. I just nod and smile. That's our little routine. Reminds me trips when we were younger. Always an adventure. Oh. Nothing else to say. Wasn't planning to go there for now. I wasn't planning to go there for now. Oh. P police? ID and ticket, please. Traveling alone? Yes, my parents are waiting for me at the destination. Hmm. Luggage contents? Any prohibited items? Just my clothes, some books, and snacks. Probably whatever it is that that squiggly person, you know, decided to put in there. Hmm. Always ready, son. Guess additional search isn't necessary. I know, my parents told me to. Alright, move along. They should still search. Border control officer seemed to be quite tense, but finally decided to be leave me alone. Train started leaving to the last station just after he left. Would you like to order anything else? Mm, just one more soda, please. Sorry, I told you before. We have no soda, unfortunately. We had an unexpected shipment delay. But your colleague said that you found the last pack. Second steward? Sorry, I work alone on today's shift. Uh, do you feel okay? You don't look well. I'm fine, I guess. You're probably just tired. We will arrive soon. Please call me if you need anything. The hand like went right through her. The man that was in my dreams. Was looking for something in my bag. Baggage. Okay. Was it my snacks? Was it my towels? Was it my coding books? Was it this strange bag that wasn't here before? For some reason, I thought that it would be better to check what's inside in the toilet where no one else could see. I could just put it in here. Drugs. I wasn't sure what this thing looked like drugs that they show in movies. Um. Trash? I'm gonna wash it. Oh. Did I flush it down the drain? <laughs> For some reason, I didn't come up with nothing better than to flush it. Hi there, little boy. What did you do with my little present? What did I do? Sorry? Yeah, the present. I'm traveling with it to my old friend. Did you tell something to the police about it? No, no I wouldn't. Now listen to me very carefully. If you want to be safe, you're coming with me and sit on your seat until the last station. And remember last thing, you do something funny and it will end up badly for you and your papa and mama. Come on. Go forward. It was locked. Can't go forward, dude. Just gonna... Um...
Open it now, or do you know what we'll be after? Um. I said open it. I just need what's in the bag. I flushed it, and then peed on it. You did what? I will bury you alive under this train. Open this goddamn door now, I said. Uh... Um... Oh. I was not expecting that. Thank you for traveling with train jet. This is the, the train boarding service. Are you okay? We had an emergency call from this toilet. Please open the door. Eh. Uh, oh. A few years have passed since this incident. My parents had many meetings with the police. But in the end, everything turned out all right. Our family was provided with protection and even received a certificate from the city. And little by little, memories of that event faded. But since that day, I have started traveling by plane. As you should have from the beginning. Ah... Folded towels, asset. Anyways, so that was Train Depart from what was it? Uh, creepy, creepy waves FM or whatever. Um, so if this is a game inspired by uh, Fierce to Fathom, it is very similar. Like you can tell, like yeah. This is what I want to do. And, um... Like, yeah, like, you, you did it. You basically made a Fierce to Fathom game. There were a couple of things here and there. Um... Uh, this was not my first playthrough. I ran into some issues. For one, um... If you pee after or like when you get stopped at the border office or whatever um the border station it, it bugs out the game like the police does not spawn um there isn't anything to tell you exactly what to do like when you take out the laptop like to tell you okay i need to place it on the table by clicking on the table um and there was like some little things towards the end where it's like uh you kind of need a little bit of a little bit of help with the grammar but i am assuming that it's because the person that made this is not a an english speaker or a primarily english speaker so that might be w where that you know issue arose from but that's like not really that big of a deal so yeah um overall it was a good game i guess yeah I look forward to seeing more from this person, so yeah. That's it. <laughs> Ooh, wasn't that interesting? Seeing what to do and what not to do when you're traveling alone because your parents are too cheap. Ooh. Now for our next and final video, we're going to be doing something a little differently because this person couldn't find a third game that centered around trains, so yeah. Anyways, so the next video is about a disappearance, about a young girl who went missing in a very, very small town. And you're collecting a reward or something, I don't know, whatever, you, you'll see, don't worry about it. Anyways, so here's the last game, ooh. Welcome to Hibernation. Don't really know much about it. It looked interesting. And I believe we're looking for either a missing person or we're looking into what happened to a missing person. So, yeah. Let's find out, shall we?
I always hate coming back to this town. But I want that money. Guess I need to find some evidence about her case if I want them to cough up that cash. So, we're stepping right into it. We're looking for this person who apparently died. Lots of rubber. Cross. Hmm. It's a very tiny houses. Ah. Uh, creepy religion. I said creepy religion. <laughs> oh, bolt cutters. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to cut something. Oh, I can't go over here. I don't know why you have just bolt cutters lying around. Is that like an inventory thing? Oh. Um, can I... Locked. I bet I could find the key in the, in the what? Price's home. Is that a person? What the? Heck? Was that just like a little? Oh. It it looks like a person, but it just looks like something like loading in. Um. Can I go into some of the other houses? I, t I keep getting hit by them. By the gate. No. No. I see... Ugh. Yeah. I can't interact with that. Genova's witnesses. Mm, can't root around their trash. Can't interact with this. Okay. Hello. What about you, cross people? Yeah. I'm gonna close your gate. It's a nice thing to do. I guess the last house to investigate is this one. Oh. Did we just go into someone's house? I believe it is a jump scare that was behind me.
Well, that ruined the jump scare, I guess, but whatever. Um, Bible? There are multiple religious books around the house. I can use this to say religion was a factor as the Price family frequently frequented the nearby church. Perhaps a religion influenced the Price family to murder their daughter. Oh. So this family murdered their daughter and I just broke into their house. And they have a door open to the outside. Um... Why am I so small? Evidence number three, the grave. There is a lone grave sitting in the backyard. I can use this to say that they've buried their daughter out of guilt for what they've done. Okay. I know there is no body here, but nobody else needs to know that. Oh, so you're that type of person. You're just in it for the money, huh? Okay, so where's the other two pieces of evidence? This didn't count. Cat. Table. Evidence number one, empty beer bottles. They are multiple beer bottles scattered around the house. I can use this to say that the Price family were heavy drinkers. Perhaps this influenced the tension between the Price parents and their daughter. Um, so where's evidence number four? Oh. Lucy has been spouting nonsense again. Something about wanting to leave town for good. How dare she? She's been here. Our, no. We've been here our entire lives, and she's just going to throw her history and our church away. Maybe sending her there more often will help. There must be a way to convince her to stay. Would that be, like, evidence number four? Mm. A clock. Ah. Uh. What's, what's evidence number four? I don't see anything else. Is it two? Oh. Lucy is gone. Our daughter is gone. The police say that she is missing, but we both know that she isn't coming home. She's gone. Our church said that they could convince her, and now look what fucking happened. I threw the key to the place into the neighbor's trash out of anger. I don't think God can help us anymore. We failed. Hmm. So, is that where... I already did! I need the key. Wait. Is it the cat? What's the next piece of evidence? I don't see any. There's nothing behind me. It kind of ruined that jump scare. Can't jump, can't like do anything. Nothing else. Damn, I can't see. Is there another note that I'm missing? Oh, oh.
Evidence number four, a corpse. <laughs> the body of Mr. Price is in the backyard. It looks like he overdosed on pills. I can use this to say that he couldn't handle the guilt for murdering his daughter and took his own life. Shameful. Yeah, we're lying about what happened. For money. Um, sorry, dude. So, the neighbors. Trash. Sorry, people. Ignore me. two-story house there wasn't any stairs is there more over here also why did I get bolt cutters I can't go that way moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed our lord will return in doing so he needs a vessel the local maiden will be appoint appointed for the hibernation awaiting his return in the bowels of the, our church oh that isn't creepy at all or more? No. Like, well, got a key. Oh. It, it's raining blood. Wait, how did I get out to the back? no idea what we're doing or where we're going. Ah. Where are we going? Uh, I, I don't think that I was supposed to be back here. I'm assuming we're about to find the girl. Evidence number five. Lucy Price. Lucy Price is dead. 
I did the deed myself. I did the right thing. The day of rapture will follow soon. Only through her hibernation will our Lord return to us. He will stand above this town as the trumpets screech their song. I did the right thing. For he is king. Okay. All evidence collected. Great job. Money. <laughs> His conclusion, after a local detective investigated the Price family home, they discovered that after growing tensions arose in the family, Lucy Price was murdered by her parents. This detective has been paid $10,000 reward by Lucy's relatives. For this unfortunate discovery. More on the story at six. Okay. Thank you very much for playing my game. So that was, um, what was this? Oh, hibernation. I guess the name makes sense now. So, what did we learn? Never trust organized religion. They're just going to be doing some sort of little cult thing and, you know, sacrifice your poor unsuspecting daughter who you were only trying to help or something. And... Never trust people that are doing anything for a reward because, like, yeah, they're doing it for a reward or some other insidious thing. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed it and whatever. <laughs> um, you know, comments if you want or whatever. The links will be in the description. And thank you all for watching slash listening. If you like to play any of these games, again, links in the description and, um... Yada yada yada. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hope you like this. Anyways, um, bye. <laughs>